guys and gals? Troy ATXRC Productions here. Better know Chef PV, ChefPV.com, ATXRC Productions.com. Find us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff. More importantly, drone and multi rotor reviews, unboxings, tips, tricks. Check it out. We are going to do a quick deep pinning of a brand new Free Sky uh, X4R. Now, the technique I'm going to show you for the way that I deep pin is really going to be utilized for anything like an X4R receiver or a D4R uh, or a flight controller that you want to deep pin that you didn't get um, already sans pins. So some local guys were recently this morning talking about how it's a little difficult to do, um, which I'll be honest, my first deep pinning and was not the nicest, prettiest job ever done. In fact, um, I ruined a couple of pads on a CC3D, had to switch over, and that's a whole mess of a problem. So, just got our brand new X4R. We just slit, took a slit down the back of the uh, little tape that holds the paper around it. We'll take the paper off, and it is actually stuck with kind of a double stick tape, but that peels off pretty easy. So, there we go. All right, so check it out. Um, the biggest thing that you want to do is you got to make sure that you have the right heating iron and you got to make sure that the tip is right and you got to make sure that the temperature is right. So I'm sure there's going to be people out there that say there's other ways of doing this. But for me, I'm running at 778 right now on the fine tip of my um, soldering iron. Before we actually put this thing in the vise, you're going to actually need to take off these plastic... Um, separators for the pins. Now, those can actually be kind of difficult to do. It can be kind of difficult to do, but if you just use your fingers and really start moving them, kind of wibble wobble one side to the other. I know that's not the right term, but one side, then the other, one side, then the other, one side, then the other, just kind of pulling on them. You might want to use some pliers just to get them moving. Now, on a flight controller board, this is going to be a little more difficult. You're going to have to kind of pry, use a little flat tip screwdriver, kind of push it up a little bit, and then you should be able to kind of start moving it more. There we go. So we've cleared off the header pins, is what these are called. Or we can clamp it into our, device, our clamp. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my needle nose pliers and my soldering iron in conjunction and I'm going to hold on to one of the pins with the needle nose and then on the back side I'm going to touch the pin not the board with the hot iron and it should pretty quickly pull just right out just like that if it doesn't pull right out immediately well then you're doing something wrong you definitely don't want to hold heat to the pins or to the board for more than a few seconds. That one pulled right out. You saw it. This one's a little trickier to get. There we go. Now, a lot of people might be asking why D-Pin instead of buying, let's say, in this case, an XSR, which already comes D-Pinned. Well, I run X4R receivers in all of my copters, first of all, so I like having the redundancy of having all my stuff running the same. Um, if I ever need to switch gear from one copter to another, it makes it really easy. But number two, there's been some issues I've, that I've heard of with the X4R as far as it's definitely a smaller format and that's great, but and it comes with uh, the ability, I believe, the inversions or whatever for the people that are trying to run, I, I don't know, certain uh, flight controllers. My understanding is you still can't beat what the X4R does. Um, it's small enough, deep pinned. So there we go. 
to basically do whatever I need it to do. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take and I'm going to put on a small servo plug lead here um, or direct wire it to the flight controller, which on this one, I'm going to direct wire it to my flight controller. So I'm going to solder wires from here directly to the FC, which is a Lux right there. And these two things will pretty much be sandwiched together. So pretty much be sandwiched together. So. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed how to deep in a Fly Sky, uh, Free Sky X4R. Uh, fly safe, fly smart, fly for fun. Chef PV out. Peace.